Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Von Susan Films channel. Today, we are taking a look at Whittier Mill Village Park. This park is located in Whittier Mill Village, a northwest Atlanta neighborhood that is over 120 years old. Listed on the National Register of Historic Places, the official city park property was once the site of a cotton mill, and the surrounding homes were the residences for the mill workers. Having visited this park several times, it is always this tall structure that alerts the lens. I'm not sure how high it is, but our drone was definitely up over 100 feet. Comment below a park you'd like to see featured on our YouTube. And as always, please like, comment, subscribe, and share with a fellow YouTuber. Also check out our Instagram for more posts and videos and pictures. Today, Whittier Mill Park is a beautiful green space offering something rarely found in any metropolitan area. Since the park's dedication in 1998, the community surrounding it has raised more than $200,000 for various improvements. The bulk of the maintenance for this 22-acre city of Atlanta Park falls to the residents of Whittier Mill Village. Again, the park is very secluded, very quiet, very private. It's located at a dead end street, actually. The residents, they don't seem to mind that you come there at all, but it is a very quiet park. It's great for photography, great if you have any animals, great for a nice little trip in Atlanta, a nice quiet trip. One of my favorite things about it is the, the shadow that you just saw in the background. Depending on where the sun is placed, you can get some great shots. And as you'll see, there's a great open field, great for photography, great for meditation, great for a beautiful day. And I'm sure you're wondering, what's on top? What's up there? Who lives up there? Is there a giant in there? <laughs> Unfortunately, the way the camera is set up on the drone, I was not able to capture what was actually on top. The motion indicators did indicate that there was something pretty close to the top, which I'm just going to think was some kind of structure or maybe AC unit or something that would be on top of a building that would cause the, the drone to not land. And if you are watching now, you wait, you'll want to wait to the end of the video, I should say, to see when my drone actually got stuck. I won't tell you where, 
but you'll have to see it at the end of the video. This is one of my favorite shots right here. So beautiful, so gorgeous. Such a lovely day. Open sky, beautiful sun. A very relaxing part. Now the next thing I wanted to do is just show you guys what it takes or how long it takes to edit a photo. A lot of people will go to Instagram or, or Facebook and they'll just see a photo, like it, and move on about their day without really knowing how long it actually takes to go through and edit a photo. Um, of course, you don't have to edit photos, right? But for the cinematic feel of it all and the uh, to give you guys a story, this is why we edit. This is why we show you kind of like what we saw when we were taking the photo.
And as we come to a close, I hope that you're able to like, comment, and subscribe. Visit our Instagram. Let us know what you think about Whittier Mill Park. Let us know what you think about our videos. And also let us know where you want us to go next in Georgia. We're always discovering. Enjoy, y'all. Here it is. Here's where the drone, which we call Nova, landed in a tree. Now, if you have a drone, you'll know that this is one of the scariest moments. <laughs> when your drone uh, returns to home, and you didn't tell it to return to home. The battery actually was dying, and the screen was not allowing me to cancel the return to home feature. So um, just update your software, guys. Always update your software. <laughs>